Revive Kids, welcome to Revive Kid Headquarters. So today is a really special day. There's a big game tonight, right? Well, guess what? Today, we get to pregame and get excited. But guess what? It doesn't matter who wins tonight, because really, we're all playing on God's team. So to get us hyped and ready to go and to worship, we are going to check in with Yancey and My God is So Big. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God story is today. So we are going to turn back the pages and we are going to check out in the Bible a story in 2 Chronicles with a guy named Jehoshaphat. Stories of the Bible. Jehoshaphat. This is Jehoshaphat. Oh, hello. Who was one of the kings of Judah. He was a good king. Yeah. Who strengthened Judah. And he did what was right in God's eyes. He obeyed God's commandments, and God was with him. There were other countries around Judah who wanted to wage war on Judah, though. Huh. And one day, messengers came to Jehoshaphat. Hey, hey, Jehoshaphat! And said that the armies of three kingdoms were marching towards Judah. Oh, no! 
Jehoshaphat was terrified by this news and begged God for guidance. told everyone in Judah to start fasting. People from all the towns of Judah came to Jerusalem to seek God's help. Jehoshaphat stood before all the people and prayed to God. He asked for God's help, saying, O oh Lord, God of our ancestors, you are powerful and mighty. No one can stand against you. He told God of the things that God had done for Israel before, and he asked him to stop the armies that were coming for them. He said, We are powerless against this mighty army that is about to attack us. We do not know what to do, but we are looking to you for help. All of the men of Judah stood before God with their wives and children. The Spirit of God came upon one of the men who was standing there, and he said, Listen, all you people of Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid, for the battle is not yours, but God's. He told them that tomorrow they would march out against the armies, but they would not need to fight, for God would be with them. Then King Jehoshaphat and all of the people of Israel worshipped God. The next morning, the army of Judah went out to battle. Bless you. Jehoshaphat said to them, Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be able to stand firm. Jehoshaphat sent the singers to walk ahead of the army, and they praised God as they led the army. At the very moment they started praising God, God mm -hmm. caused the armies of the other kingdoms to start fighting among themselves. So when the army of Judah came to overlook the battlefield, uh, wow. the enemy was defeated and not a single one of them had escaped. The army of Judah went and gathered the valuables from the valley and there was so much that it took them three days to collect it all. Wow. They praised and thanked God who had given them victory. Then they marched into Jerusalem praising God who had defeated the armies of their enemies and the kingdom of Judah was at peace. Whoa, Revive Kids! Wasn't that crazy? There was not one, not two, but three armies coming against Jehoshaphat. Three different teams coming against him. Yet he knew what he really needed to do. He needed to gather his people, and he needed to fast and to pray. Because really, we didn't, he didn't need to be afraid or discouraged. For the battle is not yours, it's not mine, but God's. Look how amazing God came in through for them. And now I have a special guest. I have a reporter on the field who is going to give us our Bible lesson from the 50-yard line. Take it away, Bill. All right, thank you, Sarah, so much. That was awesome. Hey, guys, we just want to say hi. My name is Coach Bill. You can call me Coach for short. If you guys don't already know what we have coming on today on Sunday, today is Football Sunday at Calvary Grace, so we are so excited. We're going to have so much fun today in our service, but you know what else today is? Today is Super Bowl Sunday, guys. You know what Super Bowl Sunday is? It's the two best NFL teams playing for one of the biggest trophies in the NFL. But you know what? It's not just about the players. It's not just about how certain things work, but it's all about the team. It takes the coach. It takes the staff. It takes all the players. They have to work together as a team, as a group. They have to practice throughout the week. It's not just playing on Sunday, guys. They have to work throughout the week. they got to run their drills. they got to run their routes. they got to practice from scrimmage. they got to get on the line. they got to huddle together. they got to listen to Coach Bill, Coach for short, guys. they got to listen to Coach Bill telling them how to do things. But you know what else is really important as players, guys? They put God first in their life, and they make sure that they pray to God, and they ask for strength so they can get through the, through the game. And that's what's most important. But you know what else is real? It says in 2 Chronicles in chapter 20, it talks about King Jehoshaphat. And this is a big deal for him because what he, ha he finds out that people are coming in. And he's gonna, he finds out that he's going to get attacked by all these armies. And they're going to come in and they're going to try to do what they can. Was he scared? 
course he was scared, but what did he do? He put God first. He gathered all the people together in the city of Judah, and they gathered in Jerusalem, and they prayed, and they put God first in the battle that, that, that they were about to fight. And what God spoke to them was, don't worry because this isn't your fight, this isn't your battle, I will be there for you. So they were amazed by this. The next morning they all gathered together, they went out, they sang praises unto Him, they sang praises to God, and when they went over the hill they found out that all the other armies that were going to be coming in after them, they turned against themselves. And they eliminated the, the entire army. They were all dead as they found out what had happened. And the great thing is they went in, they gathered all the goods, they gathered everything they had. It took them three days to do that. So that's why our God is important. So kids, I just want you guys to understand, coming from Coach Bill, as I work with my team in Super Bowl Sunday, as I work throughout the week to get them ready to go, all the battles that you have to fight in your life, if you put God first, if you seek God in everything that you need to do in your life, and you put Him first, He's going to be the one that's going to fight the battle for you. You don't have to do it. You don't have to be scared. He's going to get you through it. He's going to help you out. And he's going to make sure that you're safe. And you know what, guys? One other thing that's super important about this, don't forget your memory verse. It's so important. So back to you, Sarah. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the game. Thanks so much, Bill. Revive Kids, today I have our power verse. It is, do not be afraid or discouraged. Because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Second Chronicles 20, 15b. Wow, that is such a powerful verse. Because the battle is not ours, it's God's. Wow, what a special service we have had today. We have checked in with Dilly Pop with our What's Up and Bill at the 50-yard line and have learned all about Jehoshaphat and how God helped him. So before I wrap up this broadcast, I would like to say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for the story of Jehoshaphat and reminding us that we need to choose you and that we need to have faith that you will always fight our battles. Amen. Well, Revive Kids, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next week at Revive Kids Online.